Welcome back into Victorious Tarot. Today we're going to take a look into the Lacey Peterson case. And in this first reading, I'm going to start with Scott's energy to try to see if I can tap into his higher conscience of what happened when Lacey went missing or why Lacey went missing. It's like ancestors to give me clarification in the situation. Peterson and Lacey Peterson. What happened the last time Scott was with Lacey? What happened the last time you were with Lacey? Mm. Four of Swords in the Upright talks about someone being laid to rest. And it's crazy because this chick looks pregnant on this card, right? Mm. Nine of Wands in the upright talks about an ongoing battle or possibly being wounded. And usually with this card, there's a head wound. We have the world in the reverse, which talks about something being incomplete, a need for closure, somebody's world just got turned upside down. What happened the last time Scott was with Lacey? Than the last time this week, Lacey. Eight of Swords in the Upright talks about the hostage or kidnapping or mentally stuck energy. So this person is already laid to rest, in my opinion, with this being the first car out there. And then we're held hostage somewhere. And then there's the Six of Swords, which tells us about moving to common grounds, leaving a chaotic situation. So you laid her to rest, and then you travel somewhere with her. So this is him moving somewhere, moving her somewhere. Possibly across some water, near some water. Nine of Swords in the upright talks about the anxiety, the nightmares, the worry, the fear. The hangman in the upright tells us about looking at things in a new perspective. The sun in the reverse talks about sadness or being over optimistic. It could talk about something yeah. happening in the dark. Eight of wands in the right in the reverse talks about delayed travel. It can talk about frustration. So it's looking like the last time they were together, she's definitely deceased. The very first card coming out is laid to rest. And um, he moved her somewhere, possibly wrapped her up and moved her somewhere, possibly near water or in water. And um, this was an ongoing battle between them. This is something, whatever was going on between them with this ongoing battle caused him nightmares, worry, anxiety, fear, all those things. And he started to look at things in a new perspective. The outcome of all that is this world being turned upside down, being frustrated, possibly being over optimistic, possibly about the new baby. King of Cups in the reverse, manipulator. Seven of Wands in the reverse, feeling defeated. The Fool in the upright tells us about new beginnings. We have the Ten of Swords in the reverse, which tells us about recovering from some type of trauma, some type of traumatic event, situation. Seven of Cups in the reverse tells us about those poor choices or being overwhelmed by many things. 
Ten of Cups in the reverse tells us about a struggling relationship, which is usually within the family or someone really close to you. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Feeling a bit unsuccessful, could be corrupt. And this was a struggle in their relationship. He felt defeated. He felt like a failure. Queen of Swords in the upright. This is direct communication. So when it comes to this new beginning, this new adventure, I feel like Lacey wanted a new un and Six of Cups in reverse, letting go of the past. So it looks like the outcome of all this is she's gone because she wanted to get away from me. And I couldn't do that because... I'm not stable enough without her. Like, she's a crutch for me, given this energy here. So that's what I have for Scott's energy. The next video, we'll take a look into Lacey's energy to see if they are similar in any kind of way. Because, again, we all know what he's saying. He didn't do it. Everybody's innocent until proven guilty. But we all know. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video.